Fearless Gamers, Matt here for Fearless Games, and today I'm going to be doing another entry in the book corner. This time we're going to be looking at Mechanicum by Graham McNeil. I have been noticing that Graham McNeil novels take me forever to read. Uh, basically, I finished this book maybe a week and a half ago. And I started reading when I did my last entry in the book corner. So yeah, these books, for some reason, Graham McNeil takes me forever to read. I have no idea why. Um, and it's not like I changed my reading patterns at all. I read basically the same amount as I do any other day. In fact, I read this a lot more often than I do my other novels, so I don't get why it took so long. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so, Mechanicum by... This, um, this book is basically, it takes place during the 31st millennium, right when we're on the cusp of the Great Crusade turning into the Horus Heresy. And it is a story that focuses around the rise of the Dark Mechanicum. For those who don't know, the Dark Mechanicum is basically the, um, the machine cult that provides weapons and new technology for the Chaos Space Marines. And this book basically tells you the story of their origin. It focuses around a character named Dahlia, who is a transcriber who is sent to Mars to work on a new project with one of the machine priests who is a master of one of the forges. And while she's there, the um, Dark Mechanicum starts basically getting followers and br getting on the rise of br revealing themselves to, to Mars and proclaiming their their loyalty to the Chaos, um, the Chaos Legions. Um, so, in essence, the st and bleh. And overall, I'd have to say the book is pretty interesting. What's really neat about it is, is you get a great perspective of Mars and its views on the machine priest, the, I'm sorry, the, the machine god, or the omniscia, as, you, as they prefer to call it. You get their views on the Emperor and the whole and the Imperium and all and their views on on Mars as part of the their their role in the in the Imperium as a whole. And it's quite interesting, very interesting look at the um, at the Mechanicum. Um, near the end of the story, it seems to get a little overly fantastical at parts, even for 40k standards, but it doesn't get to the point where it's, but it doesn't really detract from the book at all, it's just that parts of it I was just going, now this is just plain silly. But again, it didn't hurt my enjoyment of the book itself. Uh, what's also really cool is you get a really neat um, look at the machine priests as a whole. You also get a look at how Mars runs and how they operate with their whole weapon supplies and technology building. You also get a look at some of their armed forces aside from the Skatari soldiers. You get a look at the protectors, the knights, and you also get a look at the Titan legions and how they operate, how they, you know, how they discuss, you know, what they're going to do in terms of situations. How, what they consider, you know, acts of war and stuff like that. It's all pretty neat. It's a really nice look and paints a great picture of Mars as a whole. Because in the 40k codexes and rulebook, they really kind of glaze over Mars. They do mention, you know, that, you know, they worship the machine god and that they develop all the weapons and new missions for the Imperium, but they never really go into full detail about the Mechanicum. And this book, I'd say, is a great introduction to the Mechanicum and helps basically bring light to some of the more mysterious parts of the Mechanicum that Games Workshop basically leaves out of all the codexes and entries that they put in for, like, the Tech Priests or the Tech Marines. Um, there's really not much left I can say about the book. It's really nice to say that I can... The one thing I can say is it's great if you're into Warhammer 40k novels, but you don't want to go for, like, the Xeno stuff, but you want to stay, you know, mainly Imperium, you just want to kind of take a step back from Space Marine novels, this is a good choice, because the, um, the, because it, it's all about the Mechanicum, so there's no really, you know, there's no Astartes that are the main characters and steal the show. The book never really leans over, you know, doesn't introduce, you know, 
a Space Marine and then make the whole book about the Space Marine, like sometimes they do, where Space Marines just end up stealing the show. This book is f very faithful to sticking with the characters it introduced in the beginning of the story. Uh, like I said, um, for some odd reason, it takes me forever to read Graham McNeil's novels. I don't know if it's just he's... I just don't know if his stories just are, have a slower pace or what it is. But other than that, there's really nothing I have to say about the book. The book was fun. It wasn't bad. It wasn't the greatest novel I ever read in my life. But I was definitely glad that I picked it up and gave it a read. It was... In essence, just it's a nice buffer for when you're not when you're reading all these like Space Marine novels and you just need a break. This is definitely a book to pick up then if you're looking for something a little bit different. Uh, it should still be relatively available. It came out in 2008 and I managed to find a copy at my Barnes and Noble and they had one or two copies of this sitting around. So I'm pretty sure that it's still relatively available. If not, you can always check out theblacklibrary.com, who's the publisher of the books. And that's really all I can say about it. I am working on my current book right now, and once I finish reading through that, I'll do another entry in the book corner. So, until next time, fearless gamers, take care.